Seventh grade, open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit four, lesson five, say it with decimals. Problem number one, A, match each diagram with a description and an equation. Diagram A, a decrease by two fifths, and that's because X started out as five fifths, and the segment Y is only three fifths. That's a decrease of two fifths. And Y equals six tenths X. That's because the length of X is five fifths or one whole, which can also be 10 tenths. Y is three fifths, which is equivalent to six tenths. So the length of Y is six tenths the length of X. Diagram B, an increase by five sixths and that's because the length of x was 6 sixths, or one whole. To get the length of y, we added 5 more sixths. And y equals 1.83 repeating times x. That's because y is 11 sixths in length. 11 divided by 6 is 1.83 repeating. You can also look at it as the length of x is the blue 6 sixths plus an additional 5 sixths. And since 5 sixths has the value of 0 0.83 repeating, then the decimal for the entire length of y is 1.83 repeating. That's why we can write the equation y equals 1.83 repeating times x. B. Draw a diagram for one of the unmatched equations. I went with the equation y equals 4 tenths times x. In my diagram, you can see that x equals 10 tenths and y equals 4 of the 10 tenths. So y equals 4 tenths of x. Problem number two. At the beginning of the month, there were 80 ounces of peanut butter in the pantry. Since then, the family ate three-tenths of the peanut butter. How many ounces of peanut butter are in the pantry now? In math, of means multiply. The family ate three-tenths of the peanut butter, so we need to multiply three-tenths times the number of ounces that we started with. Three-tenths times 80 would tell us how much peanut butter the family ate. If the family ate three-tenths of the peanut butter, that means that seven-tenths of the peanut butter is still in the pantry. I would select option A, seven-tenths times 80. Problem number three, from seventh grade unit four, lesson four. A, on a hot day, a football team drank an entire 50-gallon cooler of water and half as much again. How much water did they drink? The information tells us that they drank 50 gallons of water and half of 50 gallons of water. So 50 gallons of water is 50 plus half of 50, which is 25. 50 gallons plus 25 gallons is 75 gallons of water. The football team drank 75 gallons of water. B. Jada has 12 library books checked out, and Han has one-third less than that. How many books does Han have checked out? One-third of 12 is 4, so one-third less than 12 would be 12 minus 4, and 12 minus 4 is 8, so Han has 8 books checked out. Problem number 4 from 7th grade, Unit 4, Lesson 4. If x represents a positive number, select all expressions whose value is greater than x. Let's start with a. 1 minus 1 fourth. That's 3 fourths. And 3 fourths of x is always less than x. Let's look at b. 1 plus 1 fourth times x. That would be 1 and 1 fourth or 5 fourths times x. And 5 fourths of x is greater than x. So I would select B. Let's look at C. 7 eighths of X. 7 eighths is less than 1. And less than 1 times X is going to be less than X. So I would not select C. Let's look at D. 9 eighths times X. 
9 eighths is greater than 1, and any number greater than 1 times x is going to be greater than x. Remember, this is when x represents a positive number. I would select B and D. Problem number 5 from 7th grade Unit 2 Lesson 6. A person's resting heart rate is typically between 60 and 100 beats per minute. Noah looks at his watch and counts 8 heartbeats in 10 seconds. A. Is his heart rate typical? Explain how you know. The information tells us that a typical heart rate is between 60 beats per minute or 60 beats per 60 seconds and 100 beats per minute or 100 beats per 60 seconds. At the low end of the typical resting heart rate, there's one beat for every one second. And at the high end, there's 1.6 repeating beats for every second. The information tells us that Noah counts 8 heartbeats in 10 seconds. That's 8 tenths of a heartbeat every 1 second. And that means that Noah's resting heart rate is lower than the typical range for a resting heart rate. B. Write an equation for H, the number of times Noah's heart beats at this rate in M minutes. We can multiply 1 times 60 to make 60 seconds, which is equal to 1 minute. And when we do that, we need to multiply the left column, heartbeats, by 60. So 8 tenths times 60. That equals 48. So Noah's resting heart rate is 48 beats per minute. Don't forget to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment below, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.